Are you sick of the grind of the 40 hour work week? Do you long to spend your days lounging on a beach in Malibu or skiing in Aspen while still making a passive income? Do you wanna live that dream while also saving the planet, ensuring that Malibu doesn't disappear into the ocean and Aspen stays snowy for decades to come? Well, I might have just the opportunity for you. Join my Planet Profits team today and for just $99.99, you can buy my starter kit and start your journey to what most people think is an impossible dream, sustainability that's good for the wallet and the planet. Hi, I'm Miriam Nielsen and this is Study Hall Sustainability. First, as your underqualified YouTube financial advisor and overqualified sustainability entrepreneur, let me give you a quick and overly simplistic introduction to the world of finance. In order for businesses to business, they generally need money. And one of the ways they get that money is through investors. For example, someone like you might invest in a company like say, Planet Profits by buying stocks or shares in the company. Then you hope that over time, the company grows and is worth more. As that happens, the stocks gain value, then eventually you can sell your shares for more money than you originally bought them and voila, you can buy that vacation home in Aspen. Another form of investment is bonds. Basically, that's like a loan that investors give to companies or governments. So instead of holding your stocks for as long as you want and playing the market, in this case, the business pays the money back on a set schedule with interest. So again, you get your money back plus more. And whoa, a second vacation home in Malibu. In both cases, investors want to get a return on their investment or a profit. So the goal is to invest in companies that will make them the most money. To learn more about that, buy my starter pack and you'll get special access to our study hall macroeconomics course or you can just click on the button. But the problem for you, a person who wants to make money and save the planet, is that having multiple vacation homes isn't exactly climate friendly for one thing. But also, ever since the Industrial Revolution kicked off in the 18th century, the companies achieving the highest productivity, growth, and profits aren't necessarily the ones using the most sustainable practices. See, the Industrial Revolution is when people started using steam-powered machines, burning fossil fuels for energy, and making more stuff than ever in factories. All stuff that was great for economic growth, but left us with a long history of child labor, low wages, hazardous working conditions, and climate change to show for it. So that model of pursuing the most growth and the highest profits at the expense of people and nature really isn't sustainable for anyone. If we keep destroying our environment with pollution, overexploitation of resources, mass production, and climate change, we've really got a lot to lose. I used to think that meant the dream of making a planet-friendly passive income was completely unachievable. But then I joined Planet Profits and found out that there is a way to make money and save the planet. Comment my Money below and I'll DM you. Just kidding, I'll tell you right now. Here it is. If you join Planet Profits, you'll be involved in what's known as sustainable finance. That means investments that support sustainability goals while still making a profit. This is also sometimes known as values-based investing and green investing. See, investors generally pick what they want to invest in based on things like how likely that company is to grow or how much financial risk they want to take on. But you could also pick based on what the company's goals and values are. And you don't have to pick companies that are profiting at the expense of people or the environment to make a profit of your own. Instead, you could choose to put your money into companies that center both types of green, profit and the environment. For example, you could put your money into companies that manufacture electric bicycles, build green buildings, or sustainably develop and reuse land. As an investor, you could also push companies to take more sustainable action. Anyone who owns a stock in a company is a shareholder. And shareholders who meet the requirements for owning a certain amount of stock have the right to make proposals and vote on actions a company takes, which means they can influence how the company does business. In recent years, it's become more and more common for shareholders to introduce proposals related to climate goals like encouraging companies to publish sustainability reports or change their practices around water and energy use. For example, shareholders in the Hershey Company and Smuckers filed proposals to push them to switch to 100% certified sustainable palm oil to help stop deforestation and save the orangutans. And these kind of investments can really pay off. Currently, a substantial amount of the world's capital, as high as 20% in Europe, is already invested in portfolios that support and consider environmental, social, and governance, or ESG, factors. Bruh, investing in these kinds of companies can make you a lot of money. One one study tracked 180 US companies between 1993 and 2009. They sorted the companies into two groups based on their sustainability practices and found that if you put $1 into a portfolio made up of high sustainability businesses, that dollar would have grown to a whopping 2260 in 2010. In a portfolio of low sustainability businesses, $1 would have grown to a measly 1540 in that same time period. Just think, if you'd gotten in at the ground level in 1993, you could be well on your way to financial freedom by now. Beyond that, greener investments have proven to be safer overall. 
A 2018 study found that companies that had a better ESG record had higher returns or gains over three years and were less likely to go bankrupt. So lots of people are getting in on the deal. Investment in solar is skyrocketing. From 2021 until mid-2024, almost 17 billion in planned solar energy investments were announced in the US, including the expansion or creation of 126 manufacturing plants. And in 2023, solar installation in the US jumped 51% compared to 2022. This deal is so good that big corporations and governments, especially the US government, don't even want you to know about it. In some U.S. state legislatures, lawmakers have sponsored bills to stop businesses and pension funds from considering ESG factors when choosing what to invest in. As of September 2023, 20 states had anti-ESG regulations, mostly to protect fossil fuel companies. That helps explain why in the U.S. just 32% of investors have ESG investments compared to 94% in Europe but you could help turn those numbers around. Or if playing the market isn't your thing, investment in bonds that support sustainability projects has grown too. Green bonds are bonds where the organization has promised that the money will go to doing something good for the environment. For example, green bonds finance one of Europe's largest onshore wind farms in Sweden. Around the world, hundreds of billions of dollars are invested in green, social, and sustainability bonds, and they can have a big impact on business and the environment. But bruh, if that doesn't convince you, here's a testimonial to show you just how great these things are. The North Yuba watershed in Northern California is huge. It takes up around 313,000 acres and has a lot of biodiversity in its forests, river, and reservoir. Sadly, it's also prone to drought and fire. And climate change means there's even more risk of wildfires, which can degrade rivers, cause erosion, and lower the water supply. So some great organizations in the area, like the Yuba Water Agency, are investing in wildfire prevention. But it's not just about preventing fires. The Yuba Water Agency owns several hydroelectric facilities in the area. So for them, protecting the forest and water supply is good for business. In 2018, the Yuba Water Agency partnered with Blue Forest Conservation, a nonprofit finance organization, to issue the five-year, $4 million forest resilience bond. Yuba Water Agency committed $1.5 million to the project, which helped attract other investors too. Here's how it worked. Money from the bond went to the National Forest Foundation. They hired other groups to do the actual work of restoring and protecting the forest. And by 2023, they had helped restore thousands of acres of the forest, reduce wildfire risk, protect the water supply, and create jobs. In 2021, Blue Forest Conservation also issued a second bond to continue the work. This time, the Yuba Water Agency contributed $6 million to the bond, and the total investments reached $25 million. They could do all that because they were getting a return on their original investment. Their earnings were up thanks to the improved water supply churning through those hydroelectric dams, and that money went back into the project and helped pay back the other investors with interest. Dude, that's sick. That's the secret no one wants you to know. Helping the environment doesn't have to involve economic trade-offs. Green bonds can be a win-win for companies and ecosystems alike, and for your future planet-friendly passive income. So now that I know that I can achieve my dreams with Planet Profits, the sky's the limit. This is such an incredible opportunity. It's not just great for individual investors, it's great for entire countries. So world leaders, if you're watching, act now and get in on this once in a lifetime deal. Governments can also be involved in climate finance, working to develop the financial tools we need to mitigate and adapt to climate change. Like to achieve the United Nations goals for slowing climate change and adapting to warmer climates, poor countries are going to need some help. And who better to give them that help than wealthy countries that cause the problem and have the resources to help. Here are two ways countries get involved in climate finance. Since 1992, the Global Environment Facility, led by the UN, has helped provide funding for climate projects around the world. This includes things like enhancing food security in Sub-Saharan Africa, or bringing more electric vehicles to countries like Kenya, Ethiopia, and Vietnam, where motorcycles are a common form of transportation. Countries can also contribute to the Green Climate Fund, or GCF, which was established in 2010 to help provide countries with money to manage the effects of climate change. For example, Barbados currently gets 95% of its power from fossil fuels, and they're receiving $169 million from the fund to build a solar power plant, implement a battery storage system, and more. The goal is for Barbados to completely transition to renewable energy by 2030. Governments that invest aren't just throwing money at sustainability solutions on a whim. Like any other investor, they're looking at the risks and outcomes and deciding how to put their country's money to the best use. And ultimately, it benefits that country too. While these kinds of loans typically come with low interest rates and longer payment terms, countries like Barbados eventually pay that money back. That future return, plus healthier futures for these countries, makes it a worthwhile investment investment. So again, you can join my Planet Profits team today and start your journey towards sustainability that's good for the wallet and the planet. For real though, this isn't all some sketchy internet pyramid scheme, and we're not going to passively invest our way to sustainability. But we can do more than we're doing right now. In 2020, countries spent $332 billion in public climate finance around the world. Meanwhile, the fossil fuel industry got $5.9 trillion in subsidies that same year. 
And according to one estimate, by 2030, we'll need at least $1.3 trillion per year in global public climate finance just to stop some of the worst effects of climate change. So in many ways, our current financial systems and sustainability still aren't quite seeing eye to eye. Even you're still dreaming of both those vacation houses, aren't you? But one thing finance and sustainability do have in common is a focus on the future. Both are looking at what they can do now to make things better later. And whether or not their definition of better is exactly the same, in order for our planet, people, and our bank accounts to have a future at all, we've got to be invested. If you're enjoying the series and are interested in taking the full study hall sustainability course and earning college credit from ASU, check out gostudyhall.com or click on the button to learn more. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like, comment where your dream vacation house would be, and smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time, bruh.